How's it going everyone? My name is True Underdog, and today I'll be showing you two crazy combos with Ramlethal that do a ridiculous amount of damage. And while they do cost two bars, I say it's worth it if you kill the opponent since each round starts with no meter anyway. So without any further ado, allow me to explain why thick thighs destroy lives. So this first combo is actually the easiest one. You want to start off by doing Ramlethal's super. This is half circle back forward and then heavy slash. I want to be honest with you, at a low level, this super is undeservedly good. It covers the entire screen and does a ridiculous amount of damage, and unless the opponent it does an instant, faultless defense, it is not even punishable on block, at least not for a vast majority of players. And then once you land this super, you want to Roman cancel, and it's going to be purple instead of red. And that's a good thing, because it means the hits that come after are not going to scale nearly as much as they would with a red Roman cancel. And as you just saw, you can actually run the opponent all the way into the corner from mid-screen, even if you wait to see if it hits. You still have plenty of time to keep the combo going. And that's it for the first part of the combo, so now let's move on to the corner. So once you run all the way to the edge of the the screen, you're going to do standing slash and then crouching heavy slash. And then after landing that short string, you're going to do her slash projectile and then her heavy slash projectile immediately afterwards. And what's going to happen as a result is the opponent's going to be exploded twice for a nice juggle, giving you more than enough time to dash into the corner and collect both of your swords. And that's a good thing because at this point in the combo, the explosion is actually going to splat the opponent against the wall, at which point you're going to do quarter circle back heavy slash, otherwise known as sobrabato. This move does an absurd amount of damage raw, and it does good damage during combos as well, so it's your best option for breaking the wall. So the end of your combo pretty much looks like this. Except the wall is going to break because you started off the combo with your super, which does a bit of premature damage to the wall. Alright everyone, put the entire combo together and it looks like this. Alright, and now it's time for the slightly more difficult combo. Now for this one, you can't be mid-screen, you gotta be a little bit closer to the corner. Not exactly in the corner, you can be a bit further away. I would say about halfway between the corner and mid-screen is ideal. You can be a bit further than that, but it requires a lot more running in the middle of your combo, and that just complicates things. So right about where Ramlethal is standing right now is where you want to be. So this combo is going to start off with her other super, down forward, down forward, slash. Boom! Look at all that damage, and it's only one hit, which is amazing because it means the follow-up hits aren't going to scale very much. Now after landing this super, you want to dash and then input the Roman cancel, because that will actually move Ramlethal forward a little bit. And that's important, because you want to be close enough to do crouching heavy slash into her slash projectile. And then just like the first combo, you want to do the heavy slash projectile immediately afterwards, because those explosions are going to help you do the combo. So, so far the first half of our combo looks like this. And just like before, you want to run all the way into the corner to gather both swords. And then once you're in the corner, you're going to do slash, and then forward heavy slash to bounce them off the wall. And then just like before, you're going to end the combo with quarter circle back heavy slash. And that's just the most damaging way to end the combo, but it is a bit tough to time, admittedly. So if you want something a bit easier, you can do pretty much any other special move, like the projectile, or pretty much any special move that can be canceled after her forward heavy slash, which is pretty much everything except for the quarter circle back heavy slash. This thing can't be cancelled into, and that's because it does such crazy high damage, which does make it ideal for ending the combo, but as mentioned earlier, it's the trickiest way to end the combo. Alright, so the second half of your combo is going to look like this. Once again, end the combo however you want to, but here's the maximum damage option. As you can see, we still broke the wall, so even if you don't want to start off your combo with the super, that's a very damaging way to hurt your opponent in the corner while breaking the wall and gaining some meter in the process. But now it's time to put the entire combo together, and it looks like this. Alright, and there you have it everyone. These combos are not that difficult. The ending can be a bit tricky, but the good news is, even if you drop the combo at the end, the opponent is most likely dead due to how much damage they've already taken. Please request in the comments which characters you want to see next, because I've learned a lot of crazy combos for a lot of different characters, and I'm excited to see which characters you want next. And while you're down there posting a comment, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as well for more combos like this. I absolutely love Guilty Gear, and I can't wait to find more combos for you all to enjoy. So thank you so much for listening. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.